love the ISUPK. Stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Shalom, DC. We're at our ISUPK, Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, out of 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under Commander General Yohanna. And we are here to bring out today. And we're going to show you, right in these scriptures, who the so-called Blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are, right here in the Bible, with the proof. We don't just say things. We actually show and prove that the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the true Israelites that the Bible speaks of. If I could, brother, you could give me Deuteronomy 27 and 1. And while the brother is getting the scripture, Every day in this stinking kingdom we call America, we suffer. We suffer from diseases, bad food, imprisonment. Anything that you can think of under the sun, that's happening to our people. Who cares if it happens to other nations? We are the Most High's children. And the Most High said that we are a special people. We are not like the other nations. We can't eat what we want to eat. We have a dietary law. We can't have sex who we just want to have sex with. We got certain women we supposed to lay down with. Homosexuality is against the most high. Eating shrimp, crab, lobster, smoking cigarettes, weed, shoot dope, hating your brother is against the most high. You got that scripture for me, brother? Read that. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded people saying, Keep all the commandments which I command. Keep what? Keep all the commandments. Keep what? Keep all the commandments. This is Moses talking. Moses said, Keep all the commandments. Not just one of them or three of them, but keep all of them. Like the priest and prophet said earlier, the Most High does not give you, you don't even have 10 rules to govern your house. So why would you think the God of Israel would just give you 10 rules? We got way more than that. You use that for an excuse not to abide by any of the goddamn laws. We keep reading. Which I command you this day. And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people saying, keep all the commandments. Keep all the commandments, keep reading. Which I command you this day, and it shall be on the day when ye shall pass over Jordan unto the land which the Lord thy, give, thy God giveth thee. The Most High sent Moses to direct us in our time of turmoil. We was coming out of Egypt. Moses got us out of Egypt. And we still did what we wanted to do. We still don't abide by the Most High's laws. After seeing what Moses did, the miracles that happened. Let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 1, Bible Kishore. While the brother is getting the scripture, once again, the so-called blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics, we are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. Not these fake imposters right down the block on 6 and 9 at that synagogue. Those are not the true Israelites. Those people over there in Israel and in Palestine, those are not the real Jews. We are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Not you stinking Edomites. Not you Elam, not you Elamites. We are the real 
Jews that the Bible speak of. But the, but the so-called, our oppressor, he teaches us that we Africans, and we are not stinking Hamites. We are the children of God. We are special people. We smell better. We look better. We do better. Even in our turmoil. You got the scripture, brother? Read that. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, just diligently, meaning to hear, if you can hear, or to the voice of the Lord, thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, to observe and to do all his commandments. Stop getting off on, well, I could just do a half of it. No, you can't, because you're going you're gonna to get, get a full A whooping. You're going to get a full, full-blown behind whooping. The Lord is going to punish you for that if you try to do half of it. Read from the top. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord, the Lord thy God, will set thee on high. If we listen to the Most High, He will set us above all nations. That's, a, that's, that's proven. When we, are, when we are in our right state of mind, when we're not on drugs, when we're not trying to get the next man wife, when we're not trying to kill our brother that's right next to us, you live in the same neighborhood and you want to kill a brother. That don't make sense. You basically are roommates. If he live in one building and you live in the next building, y'all roommates, y'all brothers. Right. Don't go off thinking weakly and letting Satan get inside of you and you just start disrespecting your brother. No. Read from the top one more time, Baba Kasha. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently. Hearken diligently. Listen closely. Unto the voice of the Lord. Unto the voice of our God. Thy Lord, thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. And to do all his commandments. What? Not half of them, all of them. Keep <laughs> let this noise pass. We're going to let this noise pass. Pick back up, man. To observe and to do all his commandments. Which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of above the earth, earth, above all nations above of the earth. earth, above all nations of the earth, above all nations on the earth. If we do what the Most High told us to do, He will set us above all nations on the earth. Not one nation, but all nations. Drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 28 15. Bob Kishore. The brother's about to put out another scripture. The Most High said, if we do all his laws, follow all his laws, statutes, and commandments, he will put us on high above all nations of the earth. That means all you Edomites, you so-called white man, all you Elamites, so-called East Indians, Chinese, Japanese, Australians, Arabs, and stinking Hamites, Africans, he gonna put us above all of y'all. That's us, Israelites. If you are not on this 12 tribe chart side, you do not matter to the Most High. And you will be put to death when Christ come back. And you will go into slavery like you should. You got that? Read that. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and take over thee. If we do not abide and follow the law, statutes, and commandments, that our God of the Bible, of the Israelites, of the real Jews that the Bible speaks of, not those fake imposters down here on 6th and I Street at their synagogue, those are imposters. You're looking at the real Jews right here. Right. We're the real damn Jews that the Bible speak of. Do Salaki. The, the children of Israel are the blacks and Latinos, Native American Indians. You call.
allocations are frauds, and you know it. But you keep playing into the state that you got going on. Because we at the bottom, and you over top of us, right? That's only for now. But just very shortly, our king, Yahweh Shah in the Hebrew. Hey, Shalom, Israel. The word Caucasian means came fellas. That's right. Anybody know who's a Caucasian race out there? The white man. The word right. Caucasian means came fellas. Right? And the biblical name the Lord called white people in the Bible is Esau. That's right. And the word Esau means race in the way. Go ahead now. That's right. Did a priest and prophet a powerful hand. Everything he just said was true. You don't believe it? Look it up. Do the research. Because we don't lie. We tell the blatant, hardcore truth. Whether you like it or not, we are the ISUPK. We don't care who you are. We the real prophets in the other scriptures. Stop reading from the top, Barbara Cassell. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we do not listen to our God, the Most High, to observe. To do all his commandments. To observe and to do all of his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses will come upon thee. And all of these curses will come upon thee. When we don't listen to the Most High, we suffer from diseases. Our women are, it's jam packed in the abortion clinics. We eat the wrong foods. We smoke. We over drink. We have sex with the wrong people. Even the same sex. We don't. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. All of these curses will overtake us if we constantly keep not following the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High set forth. Drop that. Baba Kashar, give me Deuteronomy 28 32. Read got that? Read that. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto other people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto other people. We went into slavery, the transatlantic slave trade. The native Indians were slaves also, and so were the Hispanics. I don't know why our people don't believe that the, the Native American Indians and the Latinos they were also enslaved with their brothers. Right. We all were enslaved. They got pictures everywhere. All you have to do is just do a little bit of research and you will see that we was in captivity over here for hundreds of years and still is. The white man is not gonna allow us to leave. He needs us so we can keep this kingdom going. If we are not here, then he won't be here. Wherever we at in the four quarters of the earth, we are enslaved. No matter where we at. A lot of brothers went to Vietnam. They created babies over there. Their babies are not being treated like those stinking Vietnamese. They're, those babies who are sons and daughters of Israelite men, they are being treated just like we are over here. No matter where we at, in the UK, in the Caribbean islands, and of course over here. You got that? Start from the top. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed of all ways. Crushed and oppressed. That's what we are. That's exactly what we are in this place. In the United States of America, we are crushed and oppressed by our oppressors. Our oppressor is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Our oppressor allows other nations to come over here and be over top of us. Think the most high in Christ that those Elamites over there in India are going through what we always have went through. Right. They are feeling the wrath 
of the Most High. They come over here and quickly get a, uh, a convenience store, whether it's a 7-Eleven or just a little basic corner store, and then they treat us like ish. They treat us like dog puke and everything. And now they literally putting the dog ish and the cow ish on their bodies, trying to get rid of the COVID. It ain't happening. They, 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 sweeping, they sweeping bones. They doing it all. They, they, they getting it in over there. Thank the most high Christ. Drop that and let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Bible Kashuk. The brother is bringing out another scripture. And listen. Brothers and sisters here in D.C. We are deeply oppressed. I mean deeply. Don't think because you can get up, and you can go to the store, and you can pretty much walk around freely that you're not being oppressed. The minute you think that you just home scot-free, it's when you get a wake-up call. The Most High give you that nigga wake-up call, and you need it. We all got it. That's why we got suited up and booted up back here. We are the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. We got the answers that you always wanted. You just never knew where to go. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and the south. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. The real niggas across the board ain't no suckers round us. You was looking for the truth, well, that's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power. Standing strong like a man. Cause in our camp, it ain't no cowards. 144 grand. Nigga, it's step before the song. Rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours. I'd rather die 